equip na tayo sa fundamental laws of circuit theory, which are the Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws, we are now prepared to apply these laws to develop the powerful techniques in circuit analysis. The first one is nodal analysis. Nodal analysis is actually based on a systematic application ng Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, and Ohm's law to obtain set of simultaneous equation in terms of node voltages. So, dati kasi ang mga equations natin ay in terms of element voltages, but this time, using nodal analysis, ang mga equations natin will be in terms of node voltages as our circuit variables. It is more convenient to have simultaneous equations in terms of node voltages since it reduces number of equations compared to sa mga KCL, KVL equations natin. And mas madali siyang i-apply, especially sa mga parallel circuits. We have two cases sa nodal analysis. First one is kapag ang circuit natin ay current sources, yung sources niya. And then the second one is if we have a circuit in with voltage sources. So, unahin natin yung sa nodal analysis with current sources. What are the steps in analyze, analyzing circuit using nodal analysis? So, first is to select, okay, select the node reference or the reference node. Sa so, ibang book, ang tawag nila is datum node or simply yung ground natin. Ang symbol natin dyan ay yung may tatlong hanggawa. Ito yung line natin. Yung may tatlong horizontal line. Ayan. This is our uh, ayan. This is our ground. Okay? And after that, dun sa mga nodes natin, we will assign. Okay? Papangalanan na sila natin sila ng rename natin sila ng voltages or we will assign voltages on our remaining nodes. So, kaya n-1 yan kasi yung isang node natin ay reference node and yung mga remaining nodes ay i-assign mag-assign tayo ng mga voltages or yung mga node voltages natin. And then take note that the voltages are referenced with respect to the reference node. Okay. So, kapag na-set na yung ating circuit Nalagyan na yung, nalagay na natin yung mga node voltages plus yung mga assumed current directions natin, yung mga branch current natin. We will apply KCL, okay, to each of the non-reference nodes, okay. So, magkakaroon tayo ng equations in terms of our branch currents. So, after that, we will use Ohm's law to express yung mga branch current natin in terms of Node voltages. So, paano yun? Dati kasi, we have KCL, tapos apply tayo ng Ohm's law. Doon sa Kirchhoff's law natin. Ngayon, meron tayong KCL equations. Okay? Puro mga branch currents yun. And then, papalitan natin yun ng mga node voltages. So, the key idea to bear in mind is that since res yung mga resistance natin ay positive element, we will use the positive sign convention. So, the current must always flow from higher potential to a lower potential. Meaning to say, for example, ito yung ating isang branch. Okay, meron tayong resistance R and merong node voltages V sub 1 and V sub 2. If we, okay, if we draw yung ating current direction as, limbawa yan, let's say this is I. Okay, so yung ating uh, equation, yung branch current natin na I, papalitan natin siya ng okay, yung equation natin ng I ay from higher potential to lower potential. So, I is equivalent to okay, V sub 1 minus V sub 2 over yung ating resistance. So, susundan mo lang yung direction ng current na adrenomo. Okay, and then from that, Ito yung mga node voltages natin. So, V sub 1 minus V sub 2 over R. Kaya nga, ang tawag natin dito is the potential difference. But, ang ating sign convention is from higher to lower. Kasi, uh, we assume na yung ating mga resistance natin, they are passive element and 
current must always okay flow from higher to lower potential. And then after that, kapag napalitan na natin yung ating mga uh, KCL equations in terms of Ohm's law, which are equations in terms of load voltages, so magkakana tayo ng uh, simultaneous equations and then we solve the unknown node voltages node in terms of load voltages kasi yun, using our conventional method or we can use Kramer's rule example number one calculate the node voltages in the circuit so ito yung ating given circuit okay meron na siyang ground ito yung ating reference node given na and naka-assign na yung number of nodes natin which is node 1 and node 2 now, ang gagawin natin is to first identify natin yung mga node voltages natin. So, ayan siya. Identify natin yung mga node voltages natin. Okay. So, ang mga node voltages natin na i-assign ay dun sa mga nodes natin. So, node 1, node 2. So, ang gagawin mo ay i redraw mo lang yung circuit and then papangalan natin itong V sub 1, itong node na to, and then ito ay V sub 2. Ayan. After that, is mag assign na tayo ng mga branch current natin. Okay? So, yung mga current sources natin, as you can see, yung problem natin, ang mga sources natin ay current source. Current sources sila. So, susundan natin yung mga yan. Sa branch na to, susundan natin yung current direction and yung kanilang value pati dito sa branch ito. Ngayon, yung mga branches na walang current or branch current, mag-a-assign tayo ng mga uh, current sa mga yun. So, let's say this is I sub 1. Okay? Ayan. Let's say I sub 1 to and alam natin that is 5 ampere. Okay? And then let's say ito ay I sub 2. Okay? Wala tayong value niyan. And then ito ay I sub 3. Okay. And then, in I sub 4 natin, let's say ito yung I sub 4 natin. I sub 4. So, equals yan, equal yan sa 10 ampere. And then we have I sub 5. Ayan pa ba? Wala na. So, ang magpo-flow kasi dito sa part na to ay I sub 1. Okay. So, dito tayo sa node ng V sub 1. So, ito sa branch na to. Okay, I1, pinangalanan pa rin natin siya, which is equivalent to 5 ampere. Dito naman sa branch ng 4 ohm resistor, I sub 2. Dito sa 2 ohm resistor, I sub 3. And then dito tayo sa pangalawang node, kung, nandun, kung saan nandun yung V sub 2. So, ito kasi, ito kasi, I sub 1. Okay, I sub 1 na yan. Wait na. So, this is I sub 1, which is also 5 ampere. Ito naman is, ito yan. I sub 4, and then ito ay I sub 5. Okay, so yung mga assumed current directions natin, kanya-kanya tayo dyan. Um, usually, mag, actually, magko-correct, usually, magko-correct naman yung ating mga directions once na nakapag-solve na tayo. Pag negative siya, ibig sabihin yung current direction na in mo should be reverse. Okay, so huwag kayong mag-alala kung iba yung mga assumption ng current directions natin. Kasi yung equations or yung solutions mo, mismo natin ay itatama niya. Okay.